So I think this area has become a wonderful hot spot for the potential of rejuvenating something that was seen as grimy. You know, it, the juxtaposition between the wonderful art and all the things that are happening from the film space here, from Pada Pada to, you know, all the fashion that's coming up is the fact that the juxtaposition between the challenges that the city faces and the extraordinary sort of art and how art is provoking a different sense and a different feeling about the potential of the city, it's wonderful. So I really believe that the city represents on a number of levels the opportunity to rebuild something to make people, so people can feel proud, to say that this is what we did in our generation. The song Pada Pada, the essence of the song, means so much uh, to South Africa that it was smart for this business to leverage that because if you look at the decor, if you look at the designs, if you look at the art, if you look at how the tapestry, you look at the entire way they set up the environment and how they bring music, they just, they really, what they're really doing is sustaining that legacy and they're fusing that essence. And when people come to South Africa, I'm, I'm imagining that a good chunk of the business that they have at Pata Pata here at this restaurant is largely tourist. And I'm sure they serve the local community, but on the weekends when this Mabining area is buzzing, there's a lot of tourists. And tourists don't want to come to a McDonald's. They don't want to come to something that they're familiar with. They want to experience a Pata Pata vibe. So what's really important is, once you study the market, once you understand their values, and once you understand what it is they deeply desire, then you can begin to create and conceptualize a messaging platform. You can begin creating sort of a sort of an aesthetic that, that appeals to them. You can create sort of campaigns that you, you know, are consistent with. And the relationship can evolve very sort of naturally. And oftentimes, some people don't always know what they want. So if you're really smart, you can dig into the unconscious of people and decide how do I trigger instincts and desires in the consumer to make them want to consume something that they didn't even know they wanted? And I think that's the better brands. Anybody can just sort of replicate what somebody else has done. But there's so many beautiful nuggets and so many diamonds in culture and background and, and the African, most African cultures background that you, if you take those diamonds and if you take that incredible sort of history and you fuse it into where there's a need and there's a desire in your own heart and get people around you who can help sort of cultivate and refine that process, chances are you're going to blow up.